On the second day of Christmas, the kind hand gave to me a Commonwealth Wales and a Navy Centenary. With a flag arrow. And the right and the right way up. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. So this is day two of our 12 days of Christmas. We're uploading a video every day for 12 days right the way up to Christmas Day where we're doing a live stream and a mega coin hunt at 10am so please do join us then. Right, before we get on to our £2 hunt on this second day, big thank you to Ellie. She's drew us this, this swan that's swimming and it's also the number two so I'll see what she's done there. There's a bit of a theme but before we get into the £2 we just need to clear up. Lady M was querying last, uh, last episode yesterday about whether you could tell which um, reverse was on each coin. So Lady M was, I was saying that you've got the same obverse for uh, Q Gardens, WWF and Commonwealth Games. And Lady M said she can tell the difference between uh, each coin, depending which way the point is. So Lady M, there you go, are they different? Right. I don't know now, looking at them, are they different? I think they are slightly, are they? Yes, because the... Oh, I don't know. Actually, no. I can't. Uh, I can't really see. When you it. when you when you flip them over, you definitely can. Oh, can you? Yes. Right. But so let's have a look. When they're that way around, I don't think you can. No, I, I don't think you can either. I think that it's just exactly the same obverse. Yeah. Really? Does anybody know? So so they they are so these are three different coins. One's a Q. One's the WWF and one is the Commonwealth Games in uh, in Glasgow. So can anybody tell? I generally can't, Lady M. I think I think they're all exactly the same. But let us know. All... So just to show, so there's Commonwealth Commonwealth Games. There's the WWF, and there is the Holy Grail of UK coins. So is that the? Remember, oh. remember though, you're guessing from the other side, aren't you? Yeah. That's why you get a sweat on if you find one this side. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, you're hoping it's a Q or a WWF. Yeah, and no, you can't actually tell from the other side either. Because that is a flat bottom. That too is a flat bottom. And that is a flat bottom. So no, you cannot tell. So it is a true right. sweat on. Excellent. Well, that uh, that clears that up. Yeah. Glad we uh, glad we cleared that up. Unless anybody, say, unless anybody else knows anything different. Yes. So do please subscribe, please do turn on your notifications so that you can be notified every single time we upload a video and for the next uh, 11 days, well 10 days if you don't include today, you'll get to know when it's uploaded. So £2 Lady M from the bank, it's in a coin bag bag. Bags inside are sealed, which are nice, uh, which are nice to see. From from Haydock, I'm sure we're the Haydock Cash Centre, so we'll have to tear into them. You've got a special technique, haven't you? Oh, these are little bags, nice and compact. Oh, they've got uh... have they got little yeah. slips in them? Oh, brilliant! Yeah, this, oh, that's this, nice. This is a much smaller bags as well. Oh, I'm pleased with that, then, Lady M. Saves yeah. a bit on the plastic. We do stick them in the recycling. Our, our council will take them away but yes even even better so we're going to zoom in so you can see exactly what we're doing we're going to have three two pounds on the on show there lady i'm going to totally it's close enough to see but not too close so that we trip over each other we will hopefully find a whales or a navy centenary with a flag error there's a marker on it to kick us off because that's what we're after for christmas we want to be able to fill both books by the time we get to christmas day and there is a comedies. I'm sure that won't be the first uh, Shakespeare that we find. Mm -hmm. uh, all the world's a stage, 4,355,000. Goes right next to your Marconi, 4,558,000. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we're looking for the ultimate Christmas present to fill both of our books. Both the £2 book and the 50p book. We will be keeping any keepers. We'll be going into the into this money box. So... It's uh, Raft Tree sent us, so any any keeper coins will go in there, and on Christmas Day we'll tell you exactly what we found right the way across the, the 12 days of Christmas. So hopefully do, do watch them all. There's a silver find, Trinity Lighthouse. Serving the Mariner, 3,705,000. And what we'll do right at the end of this hunt as well, we will zoom out and you'll get to see our map see how many gold, silver and bronze finds that we've found. 
Those are Charles Dickens. Something will turn up. I've got a um, hollow crown for histories. 5,655,000. And a Lord Kitchenette. Don't forget There's to check. The lights going out. On check the, the other side, Lady M. Oh, yes. Abolition of the slave trade, very yes, common that one. Two pounds on. Am I not a man or a brother? Eight million four hundred forty-five thousand. Our kitchen there's plenty of them around as well, isn't there? Yeah. Five million seven hundred and twenty thousand. Lady and with a tear zero. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Nice uh, one. Smashing them. in the middle there, but uh, nice golden guinea. I think as you get through the 50 pences, because the, the 50 pences are definitely from Haydock, we'll have to uh, tear into them Ooh, like rock nice. hard northerners. Don't do any of them, do we? No, we don't. Lovely. Can't, believe, can't even remember what it's called. It's called the Mary Rose That's Lady. That's right, yes. I can't remember the last time I saw one no, of them. No, you don't see many of them. It's a gold find. Yeah. It's a brilliant, wow. uh, go it's a brilliant gold find. What does it say around the outside? Oh, it does say. Have I got it the right way up? Oh, your noble shippy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah with the, the extra E. 15, 11, I think it is. That's the it. date on it. So... I'm just having a senior moment. I'm not helping you out, Lady because while you're trying to find a way to put it. Oh, it's because are you telling me it's a gold oh, fan? It's a silver one? That's why I'm sorry. looking, a... thinking, am I going to do lally? Well, I wasn't helping out because there's another another history. I wasn't helping out because the longer you faff about trying to put it on the map, the more coins I get to go through. Oh, there's a Tron helmets. We don't find that very often. No, we don't. Do we? Considering there's uh, absolutely tons, 9,550,000 in circulation. We hardly find any. Oh, there's that. Getting the variety. There's a DNA double helix. Deoxyribonucleic acid, 4,299,000. And then, and yet another Shakespeare's history. So, yes, so the Mary Road, it's it's an honor, honorary gold, Lady M, because it's, nice. it's, the, it's the lowest minted, oops, it's the lowest minted silver find. Nice, okay. It's 1,040,000. So that's abolition of the slave trade. And that will be a keeper for sure. It will definitely be going in the uh, in the pig. Yeah. So there's another comedies. All the world's shiny, a stage. Uh, shiny coins today. Oh, any, 2012. Partic any particular years? Yeah, it was 2012, which you don't know me. See shiny ones. I thought it was a fake thing. Another abolition of the slave trade now, maybe. I can see a, a magnanimity coin. St. Paul's because no two pound hunt is complete without a without a St. Paul's. There is another abolition of the slave trade. I can't keep going for the coins today, I'm telling you, Maybe you're just excited for Christmas, Lady. Yeah? Maybe. Excited to wear uh, there is that St. Paul's. Excited to be doing a live stream on Christmas Day, 10 a.m. Please do, we'll be doing a P.O. box opening as well on Christmas Day. So if you want to send us a Christmas card or a Christmas card that you want us to read out. To, uh, to a family member or say hello to somebody. Or if you want to plug your YouTube channel or your Instagram or your Facebook page, please do send us the Christmas card because then I'll get another St. Paul's and we'll read it out for you. Another day here. Complete bust for me. Two fight, fly through 500 pounds worth of two pounds. Yeah, doesn't feel like 500 pounds for sure. I know, especially with both of us. Uh, doing it at the same time. I mean, you can literally be through a, a bag in seconds, can't you? Mm. Especially if there's no commemoratives in there. There's another comedies. I haven't found uh, any schools yet, Lady M. Oh, there's a Trevithic. Trevor's terrific. It certainly is. Oh, I've stuck in for the last bag again. Oh, I, did that, I did that in day one. I did that, did that in day one as well. Let's hope we get this Commonwealth Games in this last bag. Mm. I'm a little bit of last bag luck. Need a little bit more luck than that Marconi, unfortunately. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. This is it. This is it. This is it. No. 
it's not it. That is the end of it. Wow, did that in pretty short order. So let's have a look at the Matt Lady M. What have we got in terms of honor, honorable mentions before we talk about the plum find? Well, we've got to mention the, the Golden Guinea and the uh, Trinity Lighthouse. Silver finds. Still relatively common, but well worth a, well worth a mention. And the plum find, Lady M, is that, isn't it? It is. It was worth it just for that. That is definitely going to be going in the Keeper Pig. 2011's Mary Rose. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So it's going in here with all oh, our keep. Not going in there. No, it's not going in there. That's our Benjamin Bunny one. Sorry. Well done, Lady M. It's going in here in our Keeper's Money Box. And on Christmas Day on the live stream, we'll open this up and show you all of the keepers that uh, that'll be getting snaffled away into uh, in my collection. Right, I think we're all done. Okay. Need to uh, just remind everybody, please do subscribe, turn on that notification bell. Join us every day between now and the run-up to Christmas and don't forget to see us on uh, live streaming on Christmas Day at 10am. 10, 10 so thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode.